Hey everybody, it's the second time I make this video because my uh, brother-in-law walked in on me and uh, I didn't, I never, no, nobody usually shows up and then he just showed up and yeah, I had a bouquet on the table and it was like, oh, okay. So um, anyhow, if I look down on my lap, it's because I have a little list that I made uh, because there are lots of things that I want to talk about today and um, I, I don't want to ramble on forever. So um, I will start with the quote unquote bad and I will then tell you about my cycle and then I'll end up a high note about um, something nice that happened this week. So um, if you go um, to, uh, I guess it's my TTC video 32 and back in July, I'll put the link up here. Um, I talk about um, friends of ours who had confided in us and told us that they were going to start trying for uh, a baby. And I told you that that would surely throw me over the edge. And yesterday they um, announced to us that she is pregnant. And it is just as bad as I had expected. <laughs> um, so they were here and we were having dinner just back there. And um, the minute that he, so the, the guy and the couple started, you know, beating around the bush and like, well, there's something that we want to tell you. And it was just such a silly way to tell us to. I just, and um, seriously, before he even, he even said anything, I already, I already knew. And I even said like, you did, it, it happened, right? And um, then he said, yeah, well, she's pregnant and they don't know how many weeks she is. They don't know when she got pregnant. Um, so, listen, I realize that these are friends of ours, that I should be happy for them, and I am. But just the way that they told us was very tactless. I was expecting for a little bit more, I guess, compassion. And um, they know, definitely she knows, that we are trying, and for how long we've been trying. Um, I told her point blank and uh, she was very like oh that's so long I'm sorry and and she's really young um, she is 20 well I think she's 26 and this is her second baby and for standards around here it's very very young um, so she she's a very she's a very she's a nice person and they're good parents and she's a good mother and that has nothing to do with how I feel. It's just that did they really need to say three or four times how how they weren't even really trying? I mean, can you believe it happened our first month trying? I can't believe it was so easy. Yeah, that that really stung. I it really did. And um I was here having dinner and I just had to like go say, oh, well, I have to go to the washroom for a little bit. So yeah, I went in there and, sorry, and I cried a little bit, <laughs> quietly, and then I flushed to pretend that I had just been to the bathroom, put in some Visine in my eyes and came back out. And then we had to spend the entire night with them. And I think under other circumstances, I probably would have gotten up and given her a hug and I couldn't move. My, my feet were like glued to the ground. I just... And my husband too, he was, he was really shook up by this whole thing. Um, I realized that they're not getting pregnant at me, that they're having a baby is a wonderful thing and that it has nothing to do with me. But yeah, I just can't help but like we see these people a lot and now I'm just going to have her being pregnant rubbed all over my face and it's just yeah it's it's difficult um sorry um so anyhow yeah and uh, then uh to top it off after they left and my husband and i were alone we got into an argument because he he started going like he started repeating why 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 and what do I say? I, I don't know what to say. I myself, I am a mess myself, so it's very difficult to be there for someone else. And um, 
then he, he started saying about, well, if tests reveal that there is something wrong with us, that he would like to have a community and tell people. And I told him, like, who do you mean? Who do you want to tell? Because I feel very uncomfortable with the idea of making this like a public thing. Um, and his logic is that people already figure that we're trying because they know we want kids and then we might as well tell them and he said that I, I make videos public to the world and then why shouldn't he have his own community and I agree that that's a valid point. However, um, it's in my mind different to have people in your real life feel sorry for you. I don't know exactly why it is but I feel uncomfortable about the whole thing. And uh, the reason why I'm kind of like peeved that they they got pregnant without even trying is because when she got pregnant, it was like right off their wedding, like probably on their honeymoon. And um, she doesn't even know how... <laughs> I realize that not everybody is obsessive about the whole thing and planning, but... Um, she was still drinking back then and I overheard her telling my husband like, well, you know... With my first baby, because she, he was unplanned, I still drank and he's fine, so I should I already stop drinking? It's not like she's a binge drinker, but she was having wine with dinner and stuff. And for me, for me, just from where I come from in my mind, that's a no-no. If you're trying to conceive, if there's a remote possibility that you might be pregnant, then do not drink. And then I got to talk to her one-on-one, -on -one and I asked her, like, well, are you taking any vitamins or folic acid or whatever? And she's like, well, with my first baby... I only found out that I was pregnant when I was about nine weeks and so I only took the pills for a little bit and she's fine and and I said to her that I thought that there's a difference between an unplanned pregnancy and actually trying to conceive and that you should do whatever you could to make your body as fit as possible and I explained the benefits of folic acid and so last week we went to see them uh, or to have dinner at their place and she I know her pills because I take the same ones, I know the box, and she wasn't drinking and she was taking the pills, so I thought to myself that I got I got to her and that she was like, but lo and behold, she was already pregnant, so that explains why. So my husband and I have a different, different opinions as to how to deal with the whole thing, and the thing is we're having to look at scary prospects. Um, and I'm sorry, fear is not a bad emotion, it's an emotion just like any other emotion. And I am not afraid to say that this is just a daunting thing to be faced with that I don't think anybody wishes to be faced with. And uh, right now it's still premature because we don't know that anything is wrong uh, per se. But um, yeah, my husband was saying like, well, that he hoped that it would take them a little longer because then he would feel better about it taking as long, that, as long as it has taken now uh, for us. Because he would figure, well, then it's normal, everybody takes a little bit. But he felt like now, because they just got pregnant right off the bat, that there's certainly something wrong with us. And I don't know that that's true, but we're, we're definitely, this was definitely hard. I told you that I would jump out the window, and I'm not gonna. But it's definitely um, as, as heart-wrenching as I thought it was going to be. And now um, she's having this baby in April. And that's... That was my cycle 12 due date. So you know how much hope I put into that cycle and it didn't work out. And yeah. So, okay, that's for the bad part. Um, now for the facts about my cycle, I will tell you that. Shoot. Well, I'll keep talking. I think my husband's coming, but uh, I will tell you that I have um, been temping religiously. Um, and it hasn't been as hard as I thought it was going to be. It's actually, you know, I've set my alarm for 6 a.m. every morning, and I just, you know, kind of half asleep, take my temperature. My thermometer keeps the temperature for me. I look it up when I get actually wake up, um, and then I record it, and it's been fine. And uh, I'll, I'll show you my chart in a little bit so that you can see it. And... Um, uh, as, well, I will look at my chart right now so I can tell you where it is that I am on my cycle. I am on cycle day 17. I am 4 DPO and this is confirmed by temperature and by a positive OPK on cycle day 13. 
Uh, my temperatures are rising nice and steadily for the last four days, so I'm really happy about that. Um, at least shows that something's happening in my body. And um, I had to, I've actually started taking new prenatal vitamins because before I was indeed just taking this, and this is just folic acid. And I took this for months and months and months and months. And then we went to London, I forgot to bring them. So I had to bring and buy other pills in London. And I threw away the box because it had a pregnant lady on it and it was just bugging me. So this is what I got in London. Um, and these were like full prenatals with a vitamin, a multivitamin uh, complex as well. And now I've switched to these pills and I've got 60 and I'm uh, first pack is out. And now I'm on my second one. And um, they are these pills. And I can deal with the baby on the box. Uh, so I'm taking new prenatals and uh, yeah, that, that's about it. So... Like I said, um, I'm cycle day 17, so in the two-week wait, I have noticed, I've been studying my previous charts, and I've noticed that my last cycle was a 25-day cycle, and I've had a three 26-day cycles, then two 25-day cycles, then three 26-day cycles, then two 25-day cycles. So I'm fully expecting, and if I see that I've laid on cycle day 13, and I usually have a 12-day luteal phase, I'm going to have a 25-day cycle um, this time around. So um, I'm, I think my period would show up on uh, not this Saturday, but the next Saturday. And um, we did try, and you'll see it in my charge week. Like I said, fertility, I don't know if I said it now or if I said it before, but according to Fertility Friend, our, our trying or our timing score is high, <laughs> whatever that means. But it's been high and super high before, and still we have nothing to show for it. But... Um, uh, we'll see. The thing is, I've gotten so jaded about the whole thing. I mean, I'm hopeful, but at the same time, I've gotten so used to seeing negatives and having my period come that I'm not expecting anything else. I don't know if that makes any sense, but it's how I feel. Um, and uh, so that, that's that been kind of what's been going on on that front. Um, I will keep on temping. I have been che che checking uh, CM and cervical position and the whole nine yards and the whole cervical position is something that you have to master definitely because it doesn't come naturally for everybody um, but I'm, I'm, I'm doing my best and um, yeah so I uh, I mentioned before that we were going to go in for testing last week but that didn't work out anymore because the doctor our doctor has hours where you can go without uh, an appointment but I work at those times and then on Friday we could have gone but we had to do something major for our house uh, that day um, so we couldn't go anymore and then I was already starting my fertile window for this cycle and my husband and I debated because he has to abstain for three days before a semen analysis and then if he were to go in for a semen analysis this week then we would have had to skip this month altogether and we didn't want to skip this month. We still wanted to try this month. Um, so we're going in this week, and now I'm in the two-week week anyhow, and he's going to go for semen analysis next week. And I have to see what she says about me, about getting some blood work done. I'm thinking because we did try, and because I am in the two-week wait, that she might wait until um, my period comes. I don't know. And... Um, so that's where we're at. We're definitely doing this, but it just didn't work out anymore. Now, with regards to our house, things are moving along. We're installing the kitchen, and it's finally starting to look like a house. I think we might just make our September, our end of September deadline for moving. And um, so that's it, you guys. I thank all of you for watching and for the support that you give me. Um, it really means the world to me, and I have had... Oh, a bug. A recent spur, I mean, a recent um, spike, I mean, in subscribers. And I really want to thank you all for taking the time to hit the subscribe button and following my journey and watching my videos. It's really, it really means a lot. Um, I, this is going to sound so like I'm a stalker, but um, somebody subscribed to me that I really admire. And uh, it's just, 
unbelievable what this community can do, how you've been watching a person go through life for so long and all of a sudden they can watch you too. Um, I don't know, I'm really emotional today, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm really, I'm, I'm really a mess. So anyhow, you guys, thank you for watching, thank you for commenting. I'm sorry if I don't get back to your comments. I, oh, oh, my high story, my high point. Okay, definitely telling you guys this. Okay, so Monday was my birthday. I turned 28 on Monday and uh, my husband went all out. He brought me breakfast in bed, then he drove me to work so I didn't have to catch the train and commute. Um, then in the afternoon he said we had reservations that night for dinner. Uh, he picked me up at the train station. Then we had time, so I said, like, let's go in for some groceries because we had, we're running out of everything. And then we got home and I opened the door to the apartment and it's like spick and span. And I'm like, it's so clean here, what happened? And then I said, oh, you cleaned for my birthday. I was so, like, over the moon, he cleaned. <laughs> and then I started putting the food that we had just bought away and the, the fridge was already full. And he said, well, we're having people over. So he planned this, like... Um, surprise birthday ga gathering for me and he got me the mother of all presents Ta -da! so I got my very own iPad and I will use my iPad to show you my charts so there you go crosshairs oh, how do I make this show up nicely there well, more or less okay so you can see Nice steady temperature rise, and mm, I temp in Celsius, so, so yeah. <sighs> Let's hope these mean something, I don't know anymore. So yeah, thank you so much for watching, and that was my high note. I turned 28, and my husband is great, but I already knew that. Uh, thank you so much for watching, guys. Till next time, bye.